that our most affordable and most people in the world. They had a great fight in Armenia. This happens in Armenia. And you know that at least they were Christian, they were converted, they were so happy to embrace Christianity as the religion of the saint. We know that Saint Gregory, the illuminator, and Saint Durda, the king of the Mysterious Picture, as well as Saint Gregory, they worked so hard establishing the Armenian Church, creating the Armenian Church. When the Apostle Saint Paddis and Apostle Lumiu, they went to Armenia, they established several communities, Christian communities, but officially we know that in 301 AD, Saint Gregory and the king, the Tatar, they established the Armenian Church. And I mean, they were with really being Christian and worshiping the Son of God, the leading Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And what happened? Armenians, we were Christian, but we were surrounded by other nations. And at that time, we were surrounded by some countries who were Christian and some others who weren't Christian. <coughs> Armenians, they had a great challenge because our neighbor Persians, they had a problem with us. And we are going now to know what was that problem. Persians, they were pagans. They were worshippers of fire and some other beliefs they had. Uh, but they were unhappy with us. Why? We wanted to know what they wanted. Do you know, I'm sure that you are learning the Ali history as well. At Sunday school, maybe you have heard what was the problem with the king, the, the Persian king? What did he want from Armenians? Because after a great fight we had with Persians, the conflict be became a battle. We were fighting with them. What did he want, the Persian king? Do you know? Have you ever heard? Anyone would say? Yes? Uh, for us to give up our Christian faith. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the beautiful answer. Absolutely. Persian, they wanted us to give up our Christian faith. We were proud Armenians, Christians, and more than 150 years we worshipped and officially declared the religion of the state of Armenia, Christianity. And now Persian king and the army, they challenged us and they said that we will be coming and destroying all the churches. We are going to kill you if you don't give up your Christian faith. Thank you for the answer. And we had a greater, very courageous commander of the Armenian army at that time. He asked all Armenians, please come. We have to fight against Persians. Now, Persians, they are our friends now. But at that time, they were pagan. They wanted us to become their, their ally, the second religion, everything against the Byzantine Empire. But at that time, they came with 300,000 army to fight against Christians, Armenians. And there was a very courageous commander of the Armenian army. Do you remember or have you ever heard the name? Who was? Yes. Absolutely. Bartanomigun. Bartanomigun, you love so much. The church, and he was the great, great son of St. Gregory. And he asked all his uh, comrades, all the companions, all people in Armenia, he said, whoever is able to fight, we have to fight together as one family, one nation. We have to protect our churches. We have to protect our families from barbarians who are coming, destroying everything. Our families, our children, everyone. We have to fight. And what he did, he gathered some 60,000 brave uh, soldiers, companions, but it was outnumbered, the Armenian armies. And the Persian they were 300,000 people. And that day, what happened? On the plain of Abarat in Armenia, they faced the Persian army, they fought. Courageous. And of course, we had losses. 
among them, Saint Martin of Montgomery. He was a martyr. He sacrificed his life with his companion, 1,036 companions, and the Armenian church canonized them, and they are the saints. And we should always pray that those saints who gave their life for the Armenian church bless us abundantly from heaven. I know that they are blessing you, my beloved Sunday school children, because you come at church. And I'm sure that some other people, they prefer to go elsewhere, to have fun, to travel, but you do the sacrifice. Today you come at church, you learn about the Christian faith, the Armenian tradition, that we have a Christian tradition. You learn the Armenian language, and this is very important, because St. Bartholomew, he loved the church and the motherland, Armenia. He gave his life. I'm sure that you follow his steps and you come in every Sunday to learn about the Armenian heritage, the traditions, the culture, the religion, the prayers. And one day I'm sure that you will be reciting the compassionate prayer in Armenian. I'm sure you will be learning in the Bible right and we will be always proud of you. God bless you very much. Thank you for coming to Sunday School. I'm hoping I see you.